Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you guys a few things that I ordered from London Drugs. Um, it's just a drugstore here in Canada. I ended up ordering it online because I don't really get out much now because I'm so late in my pregnancy. Um, this is a pre-recorded video by the way and I actually wasn't planning on filming today but I had makeup on already and I had to film a thumbnail, not film, I had to take a thumbnail anyway, so I thought, you know what, why not? Um, and I had just this stuff sitting there. Let's get started. It's just a couple things. Um, I didn't get a whole, whole lot. I didn't go crazy. So the first thing I got was the NYX HD Concealer, which looks like it's a little separated. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that this is supposed to be a great dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and we will see. I got this in the color O2 Fair, which I don't think it's the shade I ordered, actually, which is weird. Um, I thought I ordered the lightest shade. So that's a little weird. Um, so that's the color there. It is still fairly light on me, so I think it will work, because I was hoping to use this underneath the eyes. I don't know, though. It looks... Let's try rubbing some of it in. Uh, I don't think... Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it underneath the eyes. It does not look that light. It's kind of disappointing. I, I thought I did order the lightest shade, but apparently not. That or they sent me the wrong one, so that kind of sucks. Um, the next thing I got was the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which I'm actually not going to swatch for you guys because I got this for an upcoming video, which probably won't be until for a few weeks now because the baby's here. Um, but I got this in the color W2, which is the... Um, yellow based side of things and it's the second lightest shade but I think this will fit me pretty well. I'm gonna save this for a video. So the next thing I got was two of the Revlon color burst lacquer bombs. So these are just like the matte bombs or the bomb stains that they used to have but they changed them to these um, and these were just on sale on the day that I ordered for like three dollars each so I got a couple. Um, the first one I got was Coquette which I thought was a lot less bright, but okay. Um, so that's the first one there. It's like a bright hot pink. And then this one looked like a hot pink, but it's a red. Um, and it's like a bright reddish pink. Either way, I'll still use them. The next thing I got was two NYX Butter Glosses, which you guys know how much I love these if you guys have been watching my channel for a while. Um, the first color I got was BLG09 Vanilla Cream Pie. I'll just... Ooh. I'll just swatch that one for you guys as well. Very just bubblegum pink shade right there. And the next one I got was BLG12 Cherry Pie, which is supposed to be like a very true, true red. Yeah, I can see it. And that's right there. It's not as opaque as the other butter glosses, maybe because it's just such a very bright color. Um, but I'm okay with that. I, I still like the look of it. Also, on the day that I was ordering, they were having a deal going on where if you spend like $20, $25, something like that, you get a free um, NYX matte lipstick, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm not usually the biggest fan of mattes, but I know they're super popular right now, so I just picked up this color. It's MLS 32 Siren, which is a very, just very dark, dark shade. Um, just something a little bit out of my comfort zone. And that's it there. Although it doesn't really look that out of my comfort zone. You guys know I love my burgundy lips for fall. Um, the next thing I got was the NYX Round Lipstick in LSS 595 Strawberry Milk, which is a very famous color here on YouTube. I'll just swatch it here. It's a peachy, like, baby pink. It's very easy to wear. So looking forward to that. And then the last thing I got was a L'Oreal True Match Fusion Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. And I got this in the shade N678 Medium Deep, which obviously I'm not going to use as regular concealer. I got this to use as like cream contour. So I'll just give you guys like a little swatch of it. That does look fairly orangey though. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Because I've heard a lot of people recommend these for doing cream contour from the drugstore. And that is everything I got today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions on items for the drugstore that I really need to go out and purchase, make sure to just comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!